All right, this is a little weird video I'm going to do. Um, are we going to explore Laura's together? Because someone asked me on the YouTube <laughs> channel what um, what Laura Stacker does, and I have no idea, so I'm going to have a look. Laura Stacker. Let's see. What does it want to come in as? It wants to come in as itself i am very confused i can see why you would be confused by this how about if we double click no we can't get a primitive node out of it either yeah this is a terrible node it doesn't even tell you what it does okay uh, laura then what other laura options do we have i bet you no hmm laura 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 I wonder, I wonder, wonder, wonder what this actually plugs into. Like, how could you possibly use this if it won't plug into anything? Well, that'll plug into that, but that's not it. Yeah. Who did this, Laura? Stay? I guess this is actually for... Maybe it just automatically applies things? Uh, how about it may just automatically apply these I don't see how it would <laughs> but um Laura stacker advanced so you can plug them into each other but there's no starting thing to trigger them so I'm gonna assume you just put these in and it just works for whatever reason I mean, it, it's weird but it it might do it maybe we'll see let's run it i feel like i feel like it's not doing anything eh is it running anything it's not saying anything in the console, so, um... Hmm... We have a conundrum before us. Maybe the manager will know if I'm using the correct node for this. Yada 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 yada... No, I must be using the right node. Seeing as we have Laura Stacker. Oops. See, the thing about this um, whole thing is this is what I've got to do when I research anything that I have no idea about because um, basically there's almost no tutorials on this kind of stuff. So maybe, maybe, okay. Here's what I'll do. We'll pull out every node that says Laura. And we'll see what we get. This is a good way of uh, figuring out if anything is going to connect. If you have a lot of... Uh, a lot of nodes. Well, we've got something which does a Laura stack. X, Y input Laura's. Interesting. Input Laura stacks. Okay. Laura stacker advanced. Laura loader. And how about you? No, not that. Not that either. However, we have discovered some things that say Laura Stack, so let's remove these and we'll see how they plug into these things. Alright, seeing as the XY inputs, these will be for XY uh, plot. Y 
that part. So I'm going to guess that if we have an XY plot, yeah, I'm going to plug into that. So, and you'll plug into here. Laura Stacker will plug in to this stuff. Hmm. I wonder. So we can send it to a script for XY plot. So I'm assuming that all we really do is, wait, okay. So this seems like it's kind of pointless, ex and except if you want different Lauras, I guess. This is very confusing. Why did you make me look at this thing? I guess this should be one, not... Why is this negative? Okay. Um, all right, here we go. Let's just set some of these. And see if it will run things. Not that. XY plot is um, under, um, no, it's under efficiency. Okay, right, so. XY plot, yeah, 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 yeah. Dependencies, efficient loader, here we go. I was trying to remember how to do this. Okay, so Laura Stack can come into efficiency loader. We've found the connection now. Right, okay. This means this stuff is like pointless. Okay. Laura Stack, efficient loader. And we pull you and we get. So it's just a matter of tracing the the um what connects to what and what connects to what, and then eventually you can figure out what uh, loads the damn thing. <clears throat> so now we have our Laura's stacking loading into here. And yeah, so because this is now a loader, we don't really need this. This can go away and be removed, and let's replace it with XDL here, and we use that base. So, in theory, should we connect these? Um, I want these prompts. So, Control C, Control V, Control C, Control V. Right. Okay. And latent, we're already grabbing. I don't need to grab the latent, so. Or the clip, dependencies. We're good. We're good to go, I think. Yeah, I don't need that. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I think. It should do it. We'll see if it throws an error or not. Okay, did it appears to have loaded the Laura stacker. Okay. Very long load time on the efficient loader. Okay, rendering. It's crazy long load times all of a sudden. I wonder what it's probably to do with the lore that it just loaded up. I'll bet that's what it was.
but it's still it's still even if you load this it's not going to load um the keywords you still need to include the keywords for all these so uh greg root kalski and pixel art and defunk retro wave I guess. And because this stuff is going to be interfering, let's pull out text stuff, cartoon, and so on, comic, sketch. All right, we'll get rid of those. Okay, I'm just talking to myself. Or, oh, well, I'm talking to you, actually, so, huh. All right, now we get to see if this thing will actually run the loaders. And maybe you'll get an idea of how I actually learn how to use these things <laughs> on uh, Comfy UI without any tutorials available. Okay, good, yeah. Loading some stuff. I don't know. I, s I think it probably is loading some lores here. Yeah, there's definitely pixel art vibes and stuff. But the problem with these kind of loaders, which are like, it doesn't go f like it doesn't go far enough that you know that it's definitely used the um. The lore is it's a problem with the SDXL current um, with the SDXL base stuff is that it'll it's quite happy to do most of the things that you tell it to do with Laura or with your prompt so um, it's kind of hard to tell if you've made much of a difference with it. Okay, and the final one, yeah, I guess it's kind of doing its thing. I'd say that that's probably functioning correctly, seeing as it did actually run it. So what we'll do is we'll do a juggernaut, and we'll switch this to five, and then we'll we'll put in one that I know is definitely going to throw stuff out there. Trying this with a 1.5 model. Uh, what else have we got? And we'll also throw. Mm. Throw in out of detail, why not? Okay, and then we will get rid of those and we'll put biopunk, which is a keyword, fantasy, another keyword, and detail. Alright, we'll try this. So I'm assuming from the extra time that it's definitely running these LoRa. I kind of wish it would actually tell you that it's loading LoRa in the um, server console, but unfortunately, oh, there we go. It's doing Biopunk. Which is the idea. And it is throwing the illustration stuff around it too. Which was the aim of it. Oh, if you're wondering what um what this stuff here is, by the way, I am trying to darken my image so that uh, my future stuff can be in a darker room because um the the images I was trying to generate earlier over here um just coming out way too bright. So one of the tricks you can do is you can actually um, use an image blend and throw in an image generate gradient and it'll just throw in like a, a single color and it will just throw like one color. And when you blend them together, you can darken the entire image that way. It's pretty cool. And that's how we get images that are suddenly in the dark when before they were bright. 
So that's a good little trick for you. So that's the original one. Alright, so... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So I'm going to save this video and I'm going to put it up online for you to watch. <laughs>